Black & Decker, more than 19,000 employees across the globe. Dedicated, creative men and women who manufacture and market power tools and accessories, hardware and home improvement products, and technology-based fastening systems. Black & Decker's culture of product innovation, quality manufacturing, and powerful marketing provides a unique environment that encourages ideas and fosters individual and corporate growth. It is a heritage that goes back 100 years, starting in 1910 with two passionate young entrepreneurs who had a dream. S. Duncan Black and Alonzo G. Decker owned a machine shop in Baltimore called the Black & Decker Manufacturing Company. They made products for inventors and other customers. But their dream, their vision, was to design and build their own products for the industrial tool market. They set their sights on making a drill that was lighter and easier to use. They were both in my father's kitchen one Saturday, and they were sitting around a table trying to bright, get a bright idea of how they could do this. At the same time, they'd had a contract for making parts for the Colt Automatic, and father had a Colt Automatic laying on the kitchen table. The two of them said, that's it. At the same time, with a pistol grip and a trigger switch, the concept of a power drill with a pistol grip and trigger switch revolutionized the power tool industry. By 1917, the two entrepreneurs had a patent on their drill and had moved to a 12,000 square foot manufacturing plant in the Baltimore suburb of Towson. During these formative years, the foundation was laid for fundamental concepts that Black & Decker employees have successfully embraced throughout the decades, develop innovative, user-driven products manufacture them to the highest standards of quality, and market them with creative, powerful, consumer-inspired programs. Early Black & Decker products included the BB Special Drill, the first power tool suitable for consumer use. There were masterful marketing programs during the 1920s, including this schoolroom on wheels, a converted bus equipped to demonstrate tools. Expansion into Canada, England, Russia, Australia, and Japan brought these innovations to consumers around the globe. The Great Depression of the 1930s brought tragedy to many companies, but Black & Decker weathered these years with disciplined management. Even Alonzo G. Decker Jr., the co-founder's son, who had recently signed on as a full-time employee, became a casualty of the hard times. In December of 1931, my father called me in and said, son, we're going to have to lay off an awful lot of people because business is really going to hell in a handbasket. And I said, and I'm not going to lay off anybody else as long as you're here, so you're going to have to be number one. Despite a depressed world economy, Black & Decker continued to develop new products and market them aggressively. The Black & Decker team developed the Cinderella washing machine and the first electric hammer with a patented Black & Decker design. Yesterday, December 7th, 1941, a date which will live in infamy. As America entered World War II, the company answered its patriotic call by redirecting its manufacturing capabilities to support the war effort. Designated as a defense plant in the early 1940s, the Towson, Maryland factory and its workforce were recognized for outstanding contributions to the war effort. In fact, the plant won the prestigious Army-Navy E Award for excellence in production a total of four times. During these years, a unique phenomenon was taking place in defense industries. Production line workers, using portable electric drills to efficiently build planes and tanks, were taking the drills home for their own do-it-yourself needs. Black & Decker saw the trend in their actions and, in 1946, unveiled an innovative line of lightweight, inexpensive tools for home use. By 1950, a mere four years later, Black & Decker workers had manufactured one million quarter-inch home utility drills, marking a milestone in the company's manufacturing history. With the do-it-yourself market growing at a rapid pace, the 1950s saw the introduction of finishing sanders and jigsaws, as well as the first portable electric hedge trimmer. This outdoor innovation 
opened the Lawn and Garden Market for Black & Decker for years to come. Throughout these same years, Black & Decker developed a stronger global presence. By the end of the 1960s, the company established operations in Canada, the United Kingdom, Australia, Brazil, South Africa, and Belgium. An important factor in Black & Decker's growth and success over the years was its continuity of leadership, which had remained in either the Black & families since 1910. In 1960, Alonzo G. Decker, Jr., who had returned to the company after his Depression-era layoff, was named president. He became chief executive officer in 1964. Under his leadership, Black & Decker turned its focus to what would be its next major breakthrough in power tools, cordless technology. Beginning with World War II, there was tremendous change in, in the batteries, particularly rechargeable batteries. I kept wondering if we couldn't possibly make such an improvement in a power drill that could make use of batteries. In 1961, Black & Decker introduced the world's first cordless rechargeable electric drill, shortly followed by a cordless electric hedge trimmer. Ten, nine, cordless technology eight, even went to the moon. The Black & Decker start. team designed a power head for the lunar surface drill used on NASA's Apollo 15 space mission in 1971. Hey, that beauty is going right in! Outstanding. Black & Decker innovators responding to consumer needs, continued to successfully develop creative, market-driven products. In the 1970s, the company introduced two products that have become icons in the marketplace, the Workmate Portable Workstation and the Dustbuster, a handheld cordless vacuum that revolutionized home cleaning. In 1975, Al Decker's tenure as chief executive officer ended marking the first time the position was held by someone outside of the Black or Decker families. Mr. Decker continued as chairman of the board for a number of years and, in total, served the company for 70 years. Black & Decker continued to revolutionize the power tool marketplace during the 1980s with next-generation cordless products and innovative accessories that expanded the company's product offerings and fueled its growth. In addition to new product development, the Black & Decker team reached out in ways that made a different kind of impact on the marketplace. One such program was the role Black & Decker played in restoring the Statue of Liberty. The company was a major contributor of power tools and engineering expertise to the project, which began in 1984 and culminated with a spectacular rededication on the 4th of July, 1986. Growth during the 80s was fueled by key acquisitions electric housewares, which propelled Black & Decker into a whole new line of business. The company also acquired Emhart Corporation, adding such well-respected brand names as Quickset Locks and Price Fister Faucets to Black & Decker's portfolio. Of all its acquisitions up to this time, the one that ultimately proved most valuable was the 1960 purchase of the DeWalt Company, a tool manufacturer known for its high-quality radial arm saws. In response to user needs for durable job site tools, Black & Decker built on DeWalt's reputation and launched DeWalt's high-performance industrial tools and accessories in 1992. The combination of superior engineering, exceptional quality, and leading-edge marketing made DeWalt the most successful power tool launch in history. While DeWalt was the company's primary growth engine in the 1990s, the Black & Decker brand had its share of success in the consumer arena, including the wildly popular snake light, high-performance cordless tools, and the versatile mouse sander. Entering the new millennium, Black & Decker looked to take advantage of its financial strength by growing through acquisitions. First, it expanded its hardware and home improvement business with the purchase of Baldwin Hardware and Wiser Lock in 2003 and the Power Tools portfolio became much larger when it acquired Pentair's tool business in 2004. This combination added Delta Machinery and Porter Cable, whose tools and accessories are standards in the woodworking industry. Throughout Black & Decker's history, people have made the difference. People who are passionate about what they do and proud to be part of one of the world's great companies. 
Our products and services are marketed in more than 100 countries, and we have manufacturing operations in 11 countries. Black & Decker today is a company focused on building on its heritage and is mindful of its role as an industry leader and corporate citizen. Our research and new product development is user-driven, conscious of marketplace demands for next-generation technology and for products that are friendly to the environment. Our electric and cordless products get outdoor work done quietly and conveniently with zero harmful gas emissions in your yard. QuickSet's innovative smart key technology allows homeowners to rekey locks quickly and easily, offering security and instant one key convenience. As a responsible corporate citizen, Black & Decker and its employees across the globe donate their time and resources to a wide variety of charitable organizations. In the U.S., this includes Habitat for Humanity, building affordable housing for low-income families, and organizations like Living Classrooms that provide technical and engineering education. It has been quite a journey, from that first pistol grip drill to the breakthrough cordless technologies and product innovations that define Black & Decker today. It thrived because of the vision and determination of our founders and outstanding Black & Decker throughout the decades. In 2010, we mark the company's 100th anniversary. We celebrate the spirit of innovation that revolutionized the power tool industry so many years ago. We eagerly anticipate the next 100 years. We will continue to build on our proud heritage to maintain our tradition of industry leadership, to bring creativity to new product development, and to provide end users with durable, innovative, high-quality products that get the job done.